Good day, family and friends. Welcome to Smoke Pot and Balance Kitchen once more. Well, today we'll be doing some Jamaican hot pepper shrimp. All right, some peppered shrimp, Jamaican style. This one is usually done back in the days um, as a whole shrimp with shell, head on and everything. That's the way it was usually done. But what I'll be doing today, I'll be doing some that way and I'll be doing some without the head because I got some family friends who'll be tasting today and um, one of them doesn't really do the head thing. So I'll be doing both, but I'll be seasoning up both. So later on, when we're doing our tasting, you'll see Kayana and Tony doing some tasting for us. So thanks for that in advance. Now here I have, I have two pounds of shrimp. These are divine and cleaned. I washed everything with vinegar, but as you can see, these are, are headless, right? So I included these, although these aren't the type that we usually do um, back in Jamaica. It's usually the whole shrimp. I also have inside here some whole shrimp that I'm doing, as you can see, head on, shell on, everything because I'm trying to do, get the traditional um, taste and the traditional look and everything. So I'll now tell you exactly um, what the procedure is. So first I'm gonna add a, a pack of um, Sazan seasoning. And Sazan seasoning will be beautiful, beautiful for this dish because it gives that color that um, when I was a kid, you saw in when the shrimp is cooked. When the shrimp is cooked, it get a little pink, but this enhance the color. I'm also gonna add some, some pimento seed. So I'll add, add just a half, right? I'll add a half teaspoon of pimento seeds. I have some chicken seasoning that I'll be adding. I'm gonna have one chicken season, one teaspoon chicken season. Spread it out all over. I'm gonna put some all-purpose seasoning. I put half teaspoon. I also have some fish seasoning that I'll be having. About half teaspoon. Next, I'll be adding some, some black pepper. Put the next half teaspoon black pepper. Remember, it's peppered shrimp, so it's gonna be spicy. All right, to tone down some of that spiciness, I'm gonna be adding a little bit of my honey. If you have brown sugar and you are using that, you can do so also. I'm gonna put a half teaspoon of honey. All right. Now I'm gonna be stirring in all these powder seasoning before I go to the next stage. Okay, usually the way this is done, usually back in the days, it's just pepper and salt. A generous amount of pepper, salt, and that's it. But as you guys know by now, who have been watching my videos, I try to go for some deep flavors, and then you're not know, trying to balance everything out. So pepper and salt will not do it for me, all right? So part of what I'll be doing today, I'll be adding some actual grounded seasoning. All right, so I'm gonna be turning on my stove. I'm gonna be... I'm going to be using some other season before I actually start sauteing my, um, my shrimp, right? So right now, I wanna get this to sauté marinade for just a few minutes until I get my, my pot ready and my, my, my oil and my butter ready. So I get back to you in the next few minutes. My shrimp um, um marinated just for a few little minutes. But my, my, my pot is ready now. 
So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna have a little bit of, a little bit of oil. All right, any type of oil that you favor, that's quite okay. Not too much, I'm just putting enough oil so I can um, saute the seasoning that I have working with. All right, so as I'm saying, this is not the traditional way. Um, what you're seeing is completely new in terms of Jamaican traditional hot pepper shrimp. But this is my thing, all right? So I'll be adding some red bell pepper, some thyme, some tomato, and some garlic, all right? That's the first thing. All right, so let's put some on there. In addition, I have some onions, some scallions, and a very, very huge amount of Jamaican art scotch bonnet pepper. Put all of them in there. Now I'm gonna leave that stir that for a while until it until I have done um, my onions caramelizing for all of that, alright? So um what I'm trying to do right now is make a base we're in all the flavors come together as one and then I'll be adding my shrimp to it. Anyhow, just a reminder that all my seafood, my chicken, whatever I'm doing, I always wash with vinegar or with lime. I clean them thoroughly. Sometimes it's not shown in the video because that take up a lot of time. Also, someone had asked me about kitchen etiquette and so on. Uh, back in the days, I was told, and I continue with this practice because I'm old school, that you should always have your head covered when you're cook cooking food, especially when other people is gonna party. And you must always cover your armpit. So if you see my videos, I always have on a t-shirt and I always have on a, a hat because that what I was taught growing up in terms of kitchen etiquette, all right? So I'm gonna leave this to caramelize for a little bit before I had my shrimp. All right. Okay, now my season, as you can see, the onions caramelize, looking really nice and everything. All right. The flavor profile, let me see what it's like. Yeah, that's perfect. Very, very spicy, but it's not just the spice. So what I'm gonna do, I've separated um, the shrimp, the whole shrimp that still have on the, um, the shell, just like it was um, back in the days, and I separated them from the half shrimp. Because the full shrimp, while I'm cooking them together, the full shrimp is gonna be cooking much quicker because it ain't got no skin or nothing, all right? So all I just simply do is just add the shrimp to that sauce that I created with all those nice goodies. Right, to add them to that. I'm gonna give this like a minute head start on the other shrimp, right? So all of that nice sauce in there. Right, so I'm gonna give it a minute. So. Give this a stir, make sure all the peppers and garlic, the thyme, you know, you sit on top of this shrimp. And as you know, shrimp, shrimp takes about three minutes to cook, but when it's head on, shell and everything, you might, you might have to give it an extra minute right there. So as I said, I'm going to give this one minute, right? One minute, just one minute before I add it the other shrimp. So remember, share, subscribe, like. If you like the video, like what I'm doing, comment, tell others about it, right? Let's get going with this thing. There's my videos up and I'll be putting so much more. I appreciate it. The one minute is up, so we're going right back to the pot again, as I told you. All right, you can smell the pepper all over right now. 
it's just a very very spicy but beautiful smell that's coming. yeah what I'm doing I'm turning the shrimp because as you see some side is getting pink right now right so I'm turning on the opposite side so everything get a little and while I'm doing that it's time to throw the rest of the shrimp in you can see it from the size and season they already have color all right I'll just pour that in like so and I'm gonna give that one stir and then I give it a minute and a half and then I'll come give it one more stir again and then a next minute and that's it so that looks so beautiful Let me cover that. so I'll be back in a minute so let's take a next look at our pot we're supposed to have about 30 seconds here how beautiful you see that color that looks so 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 delicious so we're gonna give it one more minute and then we're good to be we're good to go right after one more minute as i told you tiana and tony is gonna be a special taster for the shrimp that's divined and headless all right they are a bit scared of the, the, the shrimp with the, with the head so that one i leave to me so guys we're good to go i'll be tasting in a second before i hand it over to tony and tiana well now that i've finished with my pepper shrimp as usually we do you know we go to the tasting part today i have with me two of my very good family friends and um i have with me tiana right here and i also have with me tony and they're going to be telling us exactly what this pepper shrimp is like hopefully once again i have it real nice and balanced for them so let's take it to them you guys just give us your comments when you taste it and tell us what you think about it what do you think tiana Good, tastes yummy and spicy. Nice, nice. That's what we wanted to do. Mm. Yeah, this is good. This is good. This is pepper shrimp. This is real nice. I, it tastes so delicious. Mm. Man, this is the best. This is the best pepper shrimp. This is nice. Oh my gosh, I love it. This is the best pepper shrimp I ever ate. I eat pepper shrimp by that, but this, this is pepper shrimp. This is the best I ever eat. Nice, nice, nice. I do appreciate it every time, Tony. I do appreciate it. And that's all we intend to do here at Smoke Pot and Balance Kitchen. All we want to do is just bring our food to the world. And right now, just remember, please, as I'm saying, share with everyone, all right? Just share. Tiana is going down hard on her shrimp, and I love that. I don't, I don't know why, she, why she loves it so spicy, but hey, it's her thing. She was the one who asked her today, and there she go, enjoying her shrimp, all right? Well, remember, all I was trying to do, I was trying to get the authentic Jamaican flavor to it. Back in the days in Jamaica, we make the shrimp sometimes whole, sometimes we make them half like this. So I was trying to replicate that, but as usual, I do my, put my own little twist to it. So as you see, I put my bell peppers, my thyme and so on. It's not usually done that way. So as you can see, my people's loving it just the same. Trying to smile and enjoy, enjoy your shrimp, it's all yours. So remember guys, next time you like, you watch my video, if you do like it, remember, subscribe, share, like, and leave a comment and leave your notification button on, all right? Peace out, bless you.